What is up, everybody? I want to be able to go over with you today just some simple stretches, some things that you can do, whether you have a tennis ball at home, a mobility ball like this one, a baseball, softball, lacrosse ball, golf ball. The smaller, the more intense it's going to be because it's going to be able to create more of a pinpoint pressure. Whereas if you have a larger ball, soccer ball, something large, it's going to it disperse that pressure in the areas that we're going to cover today. And of course, that's why having a mobility ball, a tennis ball, it's the perfect size. So if you have one of those, go get that now, collect the items, and we're going to get stretched out here today. So the first part that we're going to do, we're just going to begin with the hips coming on up the body and we'll work up to the back of the neck here. It's going to take us too long, but it will be a progression. It's going to be about time-based movements. And I'll talk a little bit in between. I'll give you some time just to work out and to be able to stretch that out. But the idea is that this is going to take some time to actually release the muscles and to allow the body to relax into the movements we're doing. So let's get started. First off, take it in the right hand. You're going to stick it underneath your butt on the right side, sit on it, place your hands behind you. If you deal with wrist pain, you can go ahead and you can make a fist because this is going to shorten the length and the flexion on the wrist. However, you're going to want some cushion for your fist if you're going down, especially on hard wood here. If it doesn't bother you at all, go ahead and put your palms flat. You're going to put your left leg on the ground, your left foot on the ground here. Your right foot's going to come up and across on your knee here, get my shoes off so I don't slip, up and across on your left knee. You're gonna take your left hand, if you're able to, place it up on your ankle here, across your body, or you're gonna leave it right behind you. That's fine too. And we're gonna stay here for about 30, 30 seconds to a minute, rolling that ball around into that glute muscle that has just opened up, that pocket that we just opened up by crisscrossing our legs. And this spot in particular is pretty painful for a lot of people, myself included, because what we're doing is we're targeting the major hip flexor, the psoas, that really typically locks up when people complain about their right side of their back or their left side of their back really hurting uh, when they complain about not being able to fully stand, like it's tight in the front of their hips. Um, that is the hip flexor that is typically tight, and that's what we're targeting right now. So. Working that ball around. If there's a spot that hurts more for you, leave it there. Pressure wave across it. Really work that knot out. What we're trying to do is get it to release. You can find those spots. You can work yourself all the way around. You can bring yourself down to your elbow here, up and across, hit the hip into a little bit of a deeper position here. And we're just going to spend some time working this around. And we'll do both sides here. We're going to do both sides of the body as we go across today. You'll just be following along with me. Ooh, there's a good spot. And you can work clockwise circles, counterclockwise circles if you need something to do for reps. Go ahead, we'll take that ball here, sit back up straight, place it under the left side of your butt. You're gonna place your hands behind you, right foot comes down, left foot comes up on top of your knee, and you begin that rolling out process once again. Small circles, big circles, find the knot, find the part that's uncomfortable, lean into it, put pressure into it. What we're trying to do is release it. Good. Sometimes when we overexert ourselves, deadlifts, squats, sitting in our chair for too long, driving for too long. Last weekend, I was installing a toilet and bent over for quite far too long in an extension, extension position to my low back. And my back locked up all week here. So this has been some go-to movements that I've done every single day, multiple times a day. So as you guys can see, Rock goes up there. Hey, buddy. All right. He's done for the morning. We'll go ahead. We'll take that ball out from underneath our butt now. So what we've done is release the psoas, the hip flexors there. What we're going to do now is release a little bit of the QL muscle, the quadra labra, the bottom. Pretty sure I said that right. Pretty sure I said, actually, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. So don't quote me on that, but we are going to release the QL, QL here. If you have a box, um, if you're by a couch, chair, doesn't matter. You're going to need something to set your feet up on so we can get some extra pressure into the ball from the position we're going to be in. So you can go ahead and turn your mat as needed. You're going to throw your feet, uh, excuse me, up on the box here. 
just like so, so that your legs are at 90. You're gonna take the ball in your left hand here, roll to your right. And you're gonna place this ball right underneath the small of your low back on the left side here. Up a little higher, so if your small is right here on your low back, you're gonna wanna go up just a little bit higher, not too high up into the shoulder blades or in the middle of the back, but right here, right? Typically where we get tight at, lay down on that ball, hands out to the side. And what you wanna do is try to wink that butt up a little bit, pick that butt up, drive some pressure into the box, the chair, whatever you have, heels into the box, pick your butt up a little bit, pick your neck up, and that's gonna push the, the lower back flat here. And what we're doing is just holding it there, releasing, allowing that muscle that really is kind of like the obliques of the low back is how you can think of it, the stabilizers, the outside stabilizers of the low back. We're releasing that right now. So just sitting here, some deep breaths, take a deep breath in. Flattening that ball. And right on out. One more. Awesome. Go ahead. Let's take that ball. Let's move it to the right side here. Opposite side, same exact placement, just on the other side here. And we're going to breathe in. Once you get in position, lean that back, winking, getting the shoulders up just a little bit, and a deep breath in. And then. As you inhale here, you should be flattening that back, getting it lower to the ground, and exhale. One more here. Deep breath in. Good. Let's go ahead. We'll keep moving on right up on the spine. You guys can get rid of your box. <clears throat> get out of the way real quick. We'll go right back in. We're going we're gonna to hit the lower or traps now. So we've hit a little bit of the, just some of the stabilizers, the hip flexors in the low back. You should feel pretty loosey-goosey, a little bit better, a little bit looser in the hips here. What we're going to do is we're going to move that on up the back now. We're going to hit some of the middle back. We'll go up into the shoulder. We'll hit the neck. And then we'll just do a couple stretches on the ground with some body weight and see if it can help get a couple pops, cracks in the spine, and just a couple things to help stretch us out a little bit deeper. So thing we're going to do next is I'm going to turn so you can see me. You're going to take this ball in your left hand. You're going to stick it up behind your back just like this, all right? It's gonna go in underneath your shoulder. You don't want it up too high if your shoulder blade's right here, just underneath of it. Your spine's right here, just to the side of it. And we're gonna lay down ugh, on that ball, just like this, all right? Get it up into that shoulder. You're gonna take your left hand. You're gonna keep it underneath of your low back here, all right? So you're chicken winged on the left side. That ball is on the left side of my, underneath my shoulder blade. My thumb is kind of just touching that ball underneath my back. And my palm is flat against the ground underneath my low back here. You're going to take your right hand, take it out to the side right next to you. Your legs are going to be bent at 90 degrees. And we're going to take them and drop them to the left. Back to center. Drop them to the left. Back to center. And what we're doing is stretching out to the right side with our right hand, keeping this palm flat. As we drop our legs to lift, what we're doing is being able to flatten out, position our body. We're not able to roll because we're chicken winged behind us. 
and our palm being flat out here keeps our shoulder blades flat to the ground and we're driving our lower trap into that ball all right just the same like we were doing when we are down in our psoas and our ql we're just trying to release that muscle you can pressure wave here back and forth with your knees and just working out until it releases deep breath and then we can take that ball from the left side and we'll move it to the right side pick it up underneath place your right palm behind you or your that right ball up let me sit up so you guys can see Ugh. so right up in the middle of your back here right place right there lay right down Ugh, on top of it palm stays behind you on the right side left hand comes out goes flat to the ground here all right keep your shoulder blade on the ground and we're going to take our knees and dip them to the right like so dipping them to the right and pressure waving and releasing that out Ooh. this side's a little bit tighter for me like i said as i had locked up earlier this week installing the toilet Ooh. as you can see even those of us that stretch out try to lift be active coach we still get tight we still have to come back to these basic stretches because these basic stretches are what are effective and what you should be doing you guys can follow along with this video as many times as you need twice a day multiple times a day being able to just work out some of these muscles and let's go ahead and we'll take that ball and now that we've hit the middle back here in the middle of the shoulders let's go ahead uh We'll work up to the upper shoulders here, work out some of the upper back and tightness, and then I'll show you how to work out some of the stretches with the neck, and we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll do a couple of things, like I said, with the body weight. So we'll go ahead, we'll take this ball now, lay on the ground here again, stick it in the right hand, stick it, you're gonna take your right hand, reach up over top of your left shoulder, like you're trying to scratch your back, you're gonna place it, this time, if it was below your shoulder blade last time, this time it's gonna be above your shoulder blade on the inside here, closer to the spine. You're gonna lay right on top of it, right? Flat, you're gonna take your left hand up in the air. You're going to reach up overhead. You're not gonna be able to go all the way down to the ground because that ball's digging right into that shoulder muscle. And you're gonna take that left hand and reach it over towards the right pocket. And just back and forth, all right? If you feel like you can move that ball so that it's positioned a little bit better, do so. But what we're doing with the arm is moving right here at the armpit. Like you're trying to break a paper clip, how you would bend it back and forth until it broke in all which directions. Working it out, that's what we're doing with the arm here. Just working that muscle out, you might feel some pops. Each time that you go back, you might feel yourself get a little bit lower. <sighs> All around here. Working that out. We're going to do both sides. Good. All around. And go ahead. We'll take that ball. We're going to move it to the right side. Take it on the left hand. Up over top of the right shoulder. Behind the back there. Lay down flat. Right hand up in the air. Up overhead. And moving it all around. Yeah. Working that out. I'm just releasing some of that upper trap. We'll hit the neck next. And we'll do some body weight stretches to finish this out. All right. Go ahead. Let's take that ball. Ugh. Take it out a little bit. There's some looseness going here. Take that ball here. You're going to place it. You're going to look up to the left. You're going to have it in your right hand. You're going to take it here, right underneath the jawline. 
start massaging it, all right? All the way down, looking up to the left, down the side of that neck here, as you work yourself around here to the side and through into the back right side of that neck. Just keep looking up to the left, massaging that out behind the ear, underneath the jawline, that whole area, all right? Hitting it all around, using some simple pressure from your hand. Whatever spot, typically where I find a lot of tension in myself is right behind the ear, up into the scalenus and the base of my skull. This is where I get a lot of tension and where I really need to spend some time. If you feel like you could lay on the ground with your neck up, pressed against the ground, putting some pressure, you can do that too. We'll go ahead and we'll switch to the left side. Look up to the right. Working underneath the jaw here, all the way around, underneath the ear, into the neck, behind the neck, into the base of the skull, all the way around. All right, just stretching out that muscle, rolling it out, working it out. Good. Good. We'll just keep hitting that for just about 10 more seconds. All right, we'll go ahead and place that ball off to the side. What we're gonna do now is just come to our hands and our knees, step back a little bit here. And I want you to take your left hand, we're just gonna drop it to the side here, stretching out towards the wall, looking up towards the ceiling here, pressing down into the ground with our hand. As we just try to stretch out that shoulder, find some pressure to create some tension. Coming back through. Reaching up, driving the elbow towards the ceiling, placing our hand on the ground here, taking our right hand, driving it through underneath of our left arm, looking up towards the ceiling, drive our right hand into the ground, our arm stretching out up through the back, taking your arm, driving your elbow up towards the ceiling here. Take your hips, place your hands on the ground, come into an up dog. Look up towards the ceiling, stretch your toes out behind you, drop your hips to your hands, relax, and allow your spine to curve. Pull your shoulders back. Tuck your toes, press your heels down to the ground, push your heels, your hips to the sky, your heels to the ground. Get your arms straight, get your back straight, and breathe. Good. Go ahead, take your right leg, bring it up. Have your right knee on the outside of you, your right foot on the left side. And we're going to come down into a pigeon, relaxing down here. Good. And then you're going to place your hands on the ground, foot down, step back, switch. Left knee on the outside, right foot's on the inside of you. Keep calm, relax down, stretching out the hip behind you here. And relax. And then you're gonna step back. We're gonna come all the way up. And we're done. Well, thank you guys for following along. Hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, let me know. If there's anything that I can help you more with, let me know. If you found that some of these movements were helpful, save this, watch it again later, send this to a friend. I'll see you guys next time.